Cheapo. Once again, I have perused the aisles of the mighty Poundland and picked out the choicest tat and the most bizarre of items to parade in front of you right now. And let us begin by asking questions to the Bitter Lemon. Looks more angry than bitter, but uh, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. So as you can see quite clearly from the side here This is essentially one of those magic eight ball things. that's just branded differently You know, it's like a sphere full of goo and it has a shape in it and you shake it and the shape floats to the top and gives you one of Several predetermined answers to the questions that you ask um, Phrases include bang on Ha ha as if no you knob. Well, this is going to be interesting. It's essentially a slightly rude um, Magic 8 ball. Okay, then right. Let's open her up Ooh, Glaring at you as you open it. That's what we like to see so, so is this our new god? Is that how it works? I'm not entirely sure Well, they weren't lying with the picture on the front. That's exactly what it looks like. Okay Let's give it a shake and ask the question Will Series 2 of The Mandalorian be good? Not listening. Brilliant. Fantastic. That was a pound well spent, wasn't it? Um, let's try something else. Um, will it snow on Christmas Day this year? Uh, ha as. Ha ha ha. Not listening. I think it was ha ha as if but it didn't come in and then it changed to not listening again brilliant Marvelous, right? Let's try this a third time and we'll see what happens. It's got to be a yes. No type question. Hasn't it? Um, will I ever get round to watching that recorded version of Hamilton that everybody's talking about? No shits given. Brilliant. F fantastic. So basically, it doesn't even attempt to give you yes-no answers half the time. It's, it's just vaguely rude. Right, what other options are there on here? Bang on. Ha-ha as if. No, you knob. I don't care. When pigs fly. Not listening. No shits given. Well, that's kind of how I feel about that. Why has this got a two on it? Is that relevant? Is there like another version with different phrases or something? Intriguing. Go on, give, it, give us one more at random. Let's see if we can find something different that isn't on there. And now I've got... Uh, no. Oh, 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 it says no, you knob, but you have to hold it very, very still for that one. There we are. Yay. Backwards, that's bonk you on, which is a very different phrase indeed. God, give us another one while we've got it. It's handy. Uh, it's when pigs fly. But you, you, it's not kind of working. Somebody's bitter and it's me for spending the money. Right. <clears throat> Imagine that you have a desk. Crazy, I know. But uh, you've got like a desk at a job or something. And you have a little placard in front of you, don't you, with your job title on. Well, you don't really, but it kind of happens in old movies. And it says something like loss adjuster or whatever. Well, they've had comedy ones in Poundland. Oh, yeah. This is a plaque. Not, not the sort that grows on your teeth. With bullshitter on it. <laughs> you see, you can leave it and insult people. But uh, the reason this is wonderful, of course, is due to their complete failure to actually understand how censorship works in words. So, to get rid of the swear word, or make it less obvious, and uh, it's kind of pointless, really, isn't it? Because everyone knows what the word's supposed to be. Remove one of the vowels, replace with an asterisk, sometimes more than one vowel. But unfortunately, they seem to have thought that bull is the rude part of the word and shit isn't. So uh, I'm guessing something went horribly wrong in the communication on that one. Anyway, let, let's put that there and we can put something behind it and insult it later. So I tell you what I like. Small plastic soldiers. That's not really true. It's just a segue. Um, discovered this. Look at this. 50 bloody toy soldiers for a pound. And not just any toy soldiers, but cyber combat, alien defense force, total extreme action. I mean, they look a bit crap, but you know, they are basically 2p each. So what do you expect? Well, there's probably a flag in here as well, and maybe a tank that's completely out of scale to the rest of them. You often get those in buckets of soldiers. Um, yeah, there's not much to say on it. Um, I don't know how it's cyber combat. Uh, maybe they're like spacemen or something. All right, let's break the mighty seal. And uh, I can't actually manage that. The tops come off anyway. That was easy. Right. <clears throat> Are there really 50 in here? Shall we count them? 
No, no, we shan't. Well, oh, we've got the flag, the cyber combat flag. Is that actually the flag of a country or is it uh, not? I've no idea. The rock around it is a bit square. Maybe it's cyber rock as they, I don't know, fight in cyberspace or whatever. OK, let's put that there and look at some of the soldiers. That's, that's all right, isn't it? I mean, he's a, a little bit inhumanly gangly and they're all very, very red, like they've already been massacred or been horribly injured in a ketchup fire or something. Um, yeah, he's got his bazooka. He's He's got a corset on by the looks of it. That's not particularly useful in battle, but, uh, well, you know, whatever you're forced to wear by the army. Um, we've got... <laughs> this one's quite magic. I've just realised these are generic soldiers. They've got nothing to do with cyber combat or, indeed, alien defence force either. But um, this is really odd. It just looks like he's loping off with an M60 machine gun or something, and staring at you as he does it. Don't say nothing right, this thing's going on eBay. Yeah, that's uh, that, that's impressive. Uh, how many of these repeat, do you think? Quite a lot, I would have thought. Oh, this one looks quite good from the front. Look at that. Somebody standing guard. Although, I mean, I have seen thinner, worse ones of these in the past, but yeah these guys would not have a problem slipping through a thin alleyway or indeed a gap between a few bricks by the looks of it what else have we got oh there's a good one yeah we'll be talking sort of inhumanly stretched here i'm beginning to think these are the aliens that are just in very vague human form um yeah he's got this massive I don't know what it's supposed to be. It's sort of shaped loosely like a shotgun, but it's about 14 miles long. He's got a weird inhuman leg. Um, I d yeah, look, just go over there and don't hassle me. Ah, here's one where the sort of sprue stuff hasn't entirely come off. That's always nice. He's got a stick, a bit of 2x4 attached to his knee there. Yeah, marvellous. One of the better ones, though. Yeah, I don't mind that one so much. <laughs> I am celebrating because of wars. Um, <laughs> river dance? No, actually, look at the way he's holding his harpoon. Not entirely sure what that is. It's like he's just stepped in something. Ugh, I've ruined my boots and they were new. Ugh. Why is he supposed to have been shot? I, don't, I, I can't even get the concept behind that one. Go on, let's pick out another one at random. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I think we found the uh, the real beauty here. Um, so he's got a tiny submachine gun that he's attached to his face as he fires it. I think these things have quite a lot of recoil and get hot and stuff. Also, what is going on with this arm around there? That's... Mm. See, this that's so thin. So terrifyingly thin. This one is not worth the tuppence. He's laying the side down here. Um, oh, it's, oh bro, bloody hell. Ooh, 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 facial moulding of the month club. Look at that. Mm. But yep, a nice mounted machine gun to fire away. Maybe it's an E-Web energy cannon. I don't know. Something like that. Go on, give us one more. One more. Be ah, it's another super long shotgun, man. <laughs> is, is it the same as the other one? But the moulds come out funny. So no, no, they are noticeably different. Go on, get some focus there. I know you're scared of it, camera. Um... Yeah, why, why are their shotguns so long? That is my takeaway from this. You too can buy your kid a lot of toy soldiers where the shotguns are too long. I will actually, after this video, count them and tell you exactly how many were in there. Was it 50? Was it not? Are they counting the flag as one of them? We just don't know at this stage. I will flash up the answer now. <laughs> And now, a word from our sponsor. And that word is art. Art, I tell you. Look, here's some now. See, that's why this funny camera angle, so I can fit it in. So yes, so there is a company called Displate, and it is an online art marketplace that enables you to buy pretty pictures and high quality prints and have them printed onto sheets of metal. Exactly like that. And then you can attach them to your wall using their magnet system and have some pretty art around your house to delight your friends and confound your enemies. And if you were to purchase some displays using the link in the description of this very video, you will get off 20% if you buy one or two or 25% if you buy three or more. I shall explain that again near the end of this bit. So, it's all very high quality and very nice look.
I shall show you detail up close. There we are, we've done that now. Also, uh, as mentioned on the back here, they plant trees for everyone they sell, so that's all very nice as well. Anyway, I'm going to turn this back now so we can look and discuss the art. Actually, this is not the best way to display it. Here it is on a wall. So, this is one I picked for myself. This is by the artist Jason Rosalski and is called If Only I Could. I really like this. I like the kind of uh, weird supernatural overtone to it. It's mixed with the uh, very mundane scene of the farming. If only I could fly like this terrifying demonic entity. Ah. And now we go over to my second choice, which is very easy because the magnet system, you just take one off the wall and stick another one up. You haven't even got to get the magnet straight for crying out loud, you can just manoeuvre it afterwards. I like this system. Anyway, the second one is by the artist Craig Sterling and is an incredibly good portrait of Max von Sydow as the villain from the Flash Gordon movie Ming the Merciless. I was actually planning to get one of his Judge Dredd pictures, but then I saw this one and thought, Oh wow, that is a heck of an image. Now I didn't keep all the art joy for myself, I asked some other people to uh, have a look through the website and choose one for themselves. Now my girlfriend went for Ocean Stars here, which is a nice semi-abstract landscape. Incidentally, you can have uh, frames printed on them as well, if you so desire, like this wood effect one here. Mm. My friend Mickey also went for adjacent Rosalski picture by coincidence, a uh, red wreck, which is uh, more Rosalski's known style. The mixture of real life with fictional robotic imagery, very striking there. My friend Matthew went for this rather nice Star Trek picture of the Enterprise there, uh, in double size, you'll notice, which is obviously also available. Now, my dad likes his aircraft, and his favourite one is the F-104 Starfighter on the left there, so he went for that. In fact, he liked it so much, he then bought the one on the right of the English Electric Canberra, which is an aircraft he used to work on in the RAF many years ago. And heck, I've even opened my own shop on there, and I'm selling four different Ashens designs, if you are keen on such things. So, there's a discount going on for the next few days, uh, in fact valid until the end of Monday, from when this video goes up. If you buy one or two disc plates, there's 20% off, three or more, 25% off, but you have to use the special link in the description of this video. Ooh. We now return you to your scheduled YouTube nonsense. Right, good news everyone, the new garden ornaments are in. This time they're chrome-plated. Garden ornaments. Yes. Totally garden ornaments. Definitely. Definitely a mushroom of some kind. Absolutely 100% some kind of mushroom. And it doesn't look like anything else whatsoever. Sometimes this is just too easy. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah. If you uh, want to buy one of these, um, yeah, just, just uh, nip off to Poundland and look in the gardening aisle. And there they are, sitting very nicely on the shelf. Actually, I'm, I'm going to display that behind there, because uh, that's exactly what we all need in our lives right at this moment. So, going back to the toys, some interesting stuff going on there, right? Popper toy! Over 100 toys, and, oh, let's come off this one. Popper toy! Another over 100 toys. These look like those crappy soft drinks you'd get as a child, but they appear to have toys in them of some kind. I was guessing some sort of Lego. I can cheat and look now. Yes, yes, that was an easy guess. When there's over 100 toys, there's going to be different Lego bits, isn't it? Anyway, this is from Hashel Toys of Emco or something from uh, JW Door Direct in Stationsveg. Or Stationsveg, I don't know how you pronounce that. So I'm guessing these are quite clearly gendered. You've got one blue one, one pink one. We're going to open the pink. Presumably the girls' one first, because, uh, well, the top's already come off. What is it? Oh, it's, it's like an ice cream shop. It's bloody good for a pound, isn't it? A little uh, ice cream shop thing going on. What is the quality like? Well, let us uh, fast forward and find out. <laughs> So, let us clear a path. We have a little parasol on a table. Nice, nice, nice. We have ice cream sandwich. Uh, that's strawberry with chocolate on top. Nice. Uh, let's attach that to the table, actually. Then it will not escape. We have some milk. Quite a nice little uh, transfer on there, actually. Mm, well done, well done, we like. And a stool. And an ice cream sundae as being enjoyed by this lady, who we shall refer to... 
I just what? What name does she look like to me? Battlecron three thousand. There we are. Battlecron three thousand. Not thousand. Thousand. She had to change her name because it was already taken in Actors Equity. It's like David Walliams. Mm. Right. Okay. You can sit down and have your ice cream there. You can't complain about that for a pan. It's fairly well put together. Actually, it's much better than uh, the sort of knockoff Lego used to be. Um, I'm not entirely convinced by the figure. Uh, it looks slightly odd, um, and also putting one of the hands in was really difficult. And I've dropped it. But uh, overall, yeah. Yeah, that's the I for a pound. You, that's pretty bloody good, I would have said. Right, um, let us check the blue one. Tops of these really don't stay on. Right. Oh, it is a machine of death and destruction of some descript. Right, uh, let's fast forward and see what it's like. And there we go. That's uh, pretty good as well, really. A little mobile missile launcher type thing. I cannot get the camera to focus on it. It's terrified of it. There we are. Brum, brum. There's a noise it could conceivably make. At least it would make that noise if I hadn't put that uh, wheel on backwards. Oh no, it has fallen to pieces. Fear not. It has been repaired by top level mechanics. Oh yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? Um, the only thing is, the instructions are wrong. It shows you as having four of the uh, translucent red pieces, as you can see going into the old uh, front there. Um, but in fact, as shown in the photo, it only has them for the back. Ooh, and they're actually darker green ones at the front. Well, yeah, there we are. So, well, it's the age-old story, isn't it? See, young girls want to eat ice cream. Young boys want to fire intercontinental ballistic missiles in pairs. That's the way it's always worked, apparently. Now, seriously, um, for a quid, bloody fantastic. Can't argue with that. Tell you what I can argue with. Shit mugs. So, I can't remember if I showed this one before or not, but they do this range called Mug Off, where they just have mugs that are rude. See, this one says, what a bunch of cocks. But look, they are the form of chicken known as a cockerel. <laughs> so it's a bunch of cocks. Do you see? 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 I see. Um, but uh, there was one in there I discovered amongst them that uh, I found particularly interesting. A mug that just says Twunt Waffle on it. So Twunt, I believe, is a merging of two of the most severe swear words in the English language. And Waffle is just kind of a generic, well, something you can stick on the end of a hilarious insult. Yeah. Um, I, 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 this is a difficult one, isn't it? You wouldn't want it yourself, and you wouldn't want to give it to somebody, so you kind of just don't want it to exist. Is it the same size as this one? Yes, it is. See, the big problem I have, though, is, especially with Poundland, why would you want to pay a pound for a mug like that when you could have one of these? This is more like it. It even says this mug costs one pound all over it. Hmm. Also slightly different design to the old one I've got. Also, I damaged it by uh, dropping it. Sorry, everybody. I'll hold it this way and then it won't matter. This mug costs one, well not anymore, it used to cost one pound, now it's not for sale. It's mine. Nobody will take my Poundland mug from me. Also I thought it was smaller than that one, but now I've got it out of the cardboard. It's not. So anyway, um, if your name happens to be uh, Tarquin Wantwaffle, then well, have I got a mug for you? It's this one. It's much nicer. Just, just stick with that one, yeah. Right, <clears throat> let us finish on a high note. <laughs> just kidding, here's some toilet roll with jokes on it. Crap joke loo roll. Why do birds fly south in winter? Because it's too far to walk. Ha. They're this bearded man, or possibly wearing some sort of balaclava, is laughing and laughing, and so is that sentient pile of shit next to him. That's, uh, that's an image. Right, <clears throat> let's uh, see what quality of loo roll it is and what quality of joke it is. They've said themselves the jokes are crap, so, you know, fair enough. Oh, it's that, yeah, I had a suspicion. It's that sort of zero-ply paper that barely exists. 
Yep, your finger's going to go through that, guys. Oh, bloody hell. Why are robots never afraid? Because they have nerves of steel. I regret pressing that button. What's our engine sounds like a parrot? A carrot! Yeah, that, that was the wrong button, but actually, it seems to have kind of, uh, yeah, put my thoughts into noise better than the other one. A shipment of cement was hijacked last week. Police are looking for two hardened criminals. But that, that would imply that they have in some way fallen into the cement, which isn't in the feed line. Why do ghosts love elephants? Love, eleva love elevators, even. Because they lift their spirits. <laughs> How do you impress a baker when you're taking his daughter on a date? Bring her flowers. <laughs> what do you call a bell made out of watches? A waste of time. Why can't zoo animals take tests? Because they won't let them in the room when there's a test going on. Like seriously, have you ever taken a test? You ever tried to take a zoo animal into a test? It's not going to happen, guys. It's oh wait, sorry, there are too many cheaters. <laughs> Why did the toilet paper roll down the hill to get to the bottom? Because toilet paper now has the concept of tops and bottoms. Did you hear about the guy who stole his whole left side? He's all right now. <laughs> you, you, so you could have actually spelt that as all right, two different words. That would have still been fine grammatically and the joke would have worked better. Did you hear about the new movie called Constipation? No, that's because it hasn't come out yet. <sighs> I'm going to give that one a clap, because at least it's, it's sort of competent, as jokes go. Well, there we are. That, that's, I have a slight worry that this is like a um, feed of Barry's mind. Just sort of bad dad jokes, constantly strewing through like that. Oh, well, there we are. If you want something to wipe your bum on that's not going to be very good, but will have crap jokes on it, you can't say fairer than that. Anyway... I'm going to take my beautiful garden ornament and leave now. I'm sure I can find somewhere to put it. Subscribe for more.